when it comes to angular communication across the component is critical and we have discussed few way through which we can do the communication across the component and in today's session we are going to talk about one more way through which we can do the communication hey hello everyone welcome back to my channel i am nisha singla and i am glad that you have returned to my channel but if this is your first time visiting my channel please subscribe it so now let's talk about today's topic as i told you that communication across the component is very important right and i have talked about few ways through which we can do communication across the component can you think of the possible ways through which we can do communication yes you are right like we have discussed few decorators in my earlier videos like input decorator output decorator view child and view children decorator these decorators somehow help us to communicate across the component now in today's session we will go through and learn about two more decorator that will do some sort of component communication and that is content child and content children before i get into the coding let me first simplify this topic so in my earlier videos we have talked about view child and view children right and we have also talked about content projection so to make it easier for you let me first explain few things based on these topics and then it would be very easy for you to code content child and content children if you haven't visit that video yet i strongly recommend to watch those videos because it will give you a very clear understanding about today's topic as well i have provided the link of all these videos in the description please check it out so in my earlier videos we have talked about view child right it was very simple suppose we had one uh, component where we have some html in the template right for example we have simple this h3 now if you want to access this dom element or any element that we have inside this template inside my component so for that we have used view child and view child so any html element or component which is a part of template is basically a view child so with the help of this template reference variable we can use this view child decorator and we can apply this template reference variable here and we can access a element ref which will point to this h3 element my complete dom element now this dom element will not be accessible inside this component until this view is not initialized so we have to make sure that before accessing this element the view to which we are pointing this it should be ready so to make sure that thing we have life cycle hooks okay so if you want to make sure that your view is completely initialized and after that you will access that dom element then we have one life cycle hook that is called ng after view in it so once my view is completely initialized i am ready to use this dom element inside my component class so this was the concept of view child and view children is also similar to view child it's just a difference as a singular and plural view child will point to a single element the first matching element whereas the view children do the same thing but it points to a collection a multiple element that points to the same template reference variable so this was the concept of view child other than view child and view children we have also talked about content projection content projection we have implemented with the help of ng content directive what it was so we have one component right app view child and of course this component is a child component of some parent component so we we might be calling this app view child from somewhere like this so now we can also pass some html from my parent component like this so wherever whenever this app view child component will initialize i want that this h4 element or any html any component i want to pass from the parent component so we can pass something like this okay so now whenever this app view child will initialize this h4 element is not a part of its template okay it is coming from the parent component so to access this element inside my app view child component i need to use this ng content directive so what we can say any html element or component which is a project in a template right we are projecting it in its template so that is called content projection so once you are clear with view child and ng content let me explain you where content child can be used so as we can see that any html element if i have passed from the parent component like we have projected it like this so i can access it in the 
रिस्पेक्टिव कॉम्पोनेंट और इन दाइल्ड कॉम्पोनेंट विद दल्प ऑफ एन जी कंटेंट डायरेक्टिव बट दिस डॉम एलिमेंट आई हैव एक्सेस इन साइड द टेम्पलेट ओके बट इफ यू नाउ रिकॉल व्यू चाइल्ड इन व्यू चाइल्ड वी एक्सेस द डॉम एलिमेंट इन द कॉम्पोनेंट क्लास सो नाउ if i want to access this projected content inside its component class how we can do that view child cannot do this because view child can only access html element or component which is a part of its template so here this h4 is a not a part of this component it's a part of parent component so i cannot use view child and view children to access my dom element which is coming from the parent element as a projected content so in simple term if you have any html element or component which is projected with the help of content projection or or ng content so to access those dom elements inside the component class there we can use content child and content children so now to clarify it more let's give a very quick comparison between view child and content child okay so let's assume that we have this app view child and this component it's a child component right this component has its template where it has its own html element so if you want to access this dom element inside its component class so there we can use view child or view children and if any element or any component is projected inside this component with the help of content projection so to access those dom element or component there we have to use content child so now i hope you understand the high level difference between view child and view children so if this picture is clear in your mind it would be very easy to code so if you remember that we have created this product route in my earlier videos where we have uh, did some sort of this ui and there we have used the content projection let me quickly show you those things first so here we have this app product widget right where we have pass sales product and top products to this component now we are reusing the same component for two different purpose to display the sales product and to display the top products right these were the sales product and the top products so i want to have some different headings for both of my category so in that case i have passed few dom element from my parent component to the child component so in that case this h3 and this link i am passing from my parent component to this app product widget so when i go to this app product widget component you can see here i have used this ng content so in this case for product widget component we have this template file so all these element are the part of this template right so these element if you want to access in its component file then we can use view child and view children but any html or dom element which will be projected inside this component using this content projection those element we cannot access in view child so to access the html element that is projected with the help of this ng content directive we can use content child and content children it is very simple so now let me show you how we can do that so first let me get it from this and let's keep it simple to one element as of now so now what is my requirement that whenever any element will render here we know that it will render clearance store and this visit store so i want before rendering it into the template i want to first handle it in the component class maybe i want to do some changes before displaying that projected content into the template so i need to access that inside my component class i will keep the demo very simple so that you can understand the syntax so as we know that to use view child or view children or content child we need one selector right so what we are we are going to do we are going to add one template reference variable and with that reference variable we are going to access it in the class so i want to first modify maybe i want to display this h3 heading in my own way i have the template but i want to maybe style it before displaying it so in that case i can apply one template reference variable here with the name of header header or head you can give it any name this is totally up to you so now i want to access this h3 element inside 
its TS file. So for that first you need to use the decorator. As I told you to access any element that is projected through content projection, we have to use one decorator that is called content child. Now it will take one parameter here that will be the selector. So selector name you need to give the same name which you have given here. Whatever name you will give here, the same name you need to give it here to access. And then you can give it any any variable or any object through which you will access it. So here I am saying uh, maybe content header for an example. And this will be of type element ref. So make sure that you have imported this. So content child decorator and element ref. Both are coming from this angular code. Okay. Now if I try to access it inside my ng on init which is also a lifecycle hook of component right and I try to access this content header. So to access my content element which has a head selector which is a type of element ref I need to use this content header variable inside this component okay. But let me first show you whether you will be able to access it or not. Uh, open your developer tool and move to the console tab and you can see here from line from this component product widget line 14 I am getting undefined and I hope now you can relate the reason because I am trying to access this content child even before my view or my content is completely ready. The way we have ng after view in it to access the view child and view children in a similar manner we have another interface or lifecycle hook that we have to use to access any projected content inside this component class okay. So now we are going to implement one more interface and it is also imported. Now this will give you one method that is called ng after content in it fine so that we need to implement now. So inside this method if you access this one it should work because by that time when this method will execute when this life cycle will run by that time my content is completely initialized. So let's check this one. Now we are able to access one element ref which is of simple DOM element of H3 right at line 18 it means I am able to access it here. It will simply return a pure DOM element if you see here it will return one native element and if you further expand it it's a completely DOM element right. DOM object you can access any of the property DOM property to manipulate its data or to manipulate this element somehow. So I will again keep it simple and I will simply just modify some CSS so that you can understand how it is working. So just you need to access this native element so we can say something like this we can say this dot content header dot native element and now you have a list of DOM elements so you can access any of the method or property fine. I will use this time a method that is called set attribute we can which basically used to apply some attribute on this element. So this element is pointing to uh, h3 right. So here I can set some style attribute and I can change its color. Let's first check this one. So can you see here now it has changed to red color. So this is how you can use content child. So any HTML element that will render with the help of ng content all those HTML element I can manipulate with the help of content child and content children. Now if I talk about content children it is also very similar right the way we have view child and view children. Suppose we have uh, one more HTML element and suppose this HTML element also have the same selector. So now when this component will run and my content child will execute right. So in that case it will find that we have selector with the name of head two times. So in that case if, if you check first you can see here my CSS rule is only applied on my first element because we have accessed this one with the help of content child right which always point to the first matching element. If, if just to make you sure if you if you put this one first and this h3 later to this one. So you can see my rule will apply on this p tag instead of this Clarence store because content child will always work on 
first matching element so now if you want to access all the element that is matching to this selector head so in that case instead of content child you need to use content children okay so this is the another decorator the idea is same the only thing is how it returns the element content child as the name suggests it return a single child and content children it return a collection and we need to import this content children as well so now let me remove comment this one and if you access this content header now you can see it is returning a query list query list means it's a kind of collection so it will return like this first element and last element the first element is pointing to the h3 and the last element is pointing to the p tag and it has two element that match to this uh, selection so now you can also access this these object and you can manipulate any of the property that you want to access so this is about the content children so just to conclude this topic if you want to communicate across the component there are different ways through which you can do and view child and content child is also one of them but the difference comes when you access the element so if any dom element or any html or component if you have inside your template and if you want to access it inside its component class there you can use view child to access the first matching element and view children to return the collection okay that is matching to the, that condition whereas if your if your component of your template having some html element or component that is projected inside the template from the parent component with the help of content projection using ng content directive so to access those element inside the component class we need to use content child to access the first matching element and content children to return the collection and they both have their dedicated lifecycle hook because you have to make sure that when I'm accessing the element inside the component class that particular view should be initialized first so there we have ng after view in it and if you are accessing any content inside the component then ng after content in it lifecycle hook will be used so this is about content child and content children I hope this video will be helpful to you if it is let me know in the comment section. I will see you in the next video with more interesting topics. Till then, keep learning and staying safe.